hello YouTube! Today in the Naughty Librarian, I am bringing you another book haul. I have been collecting some pretty good books lately between, you know, library book sales or other um, festivals I've been to. Sometimes I give out free books. So overall, I didn't pay for a lot of these actually. I got a lot of these for free or very cheap. So I'm excited at the bargains at least. Also, I'm just super excited I got some really good books. So let's get into my goodies. I got not one, but two books by Jill Shalvis. I always collect them. I don't have time to read enough of Jill Shalvis books, but like they're always so delightful that I always try to pick them up at library book sales when I see them, because usually they're very cheap. So got two of those. This is definitely a rom-com. It also features cute animals. So they're up in the cute factor with Animal Magnetism by Jill Shalvis. This takes place in like a small town in Idaho and it is, it starts off with a car crash. There you go. I mean, as far as meat cutes go, I don't know how cute that is. This is Brady and Lila. Brady is just driving along and he gets hit by what he calls Noah's Ark because Lila is driving a van full of animals and she hits them. And they have to go back to the small town to get his car fixed and then one thing leads to another and they probably bang the bejesus out of each other. I don't know how it's gonna end, but there's gonna be cute animals and a meat cute and and cuteness. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be cute. I hope it's also smutty. The other Jill Shalvis I picked up was Her Sexiest Mistake. <laughs> and this cover is so cheesy. It's so cheesy, but like I was into it because it was so cheesy. I mean, realistically, this is a story I've seen a lot. You know, there's a successful businesswoman who just like, you know, live in her life and then she has like a weakness for men and she has a one night stand with this guy and he's just like, no, I am a keeper and then he has to be all adorable and worm his way into her heart. And there's also like a gothy niche she has to take care of. So it's it's like a well-trodden <laughs> rom-com tropes here, but like they're well-trodden for a reason. They usually work. So I don't know. This is not something I would normally pick up, but I picked it up just because it was Jill, Jill Shalvis. So it's worth like doing a skim through to see like how cheesy it's gonna get, but it might get amazing. I'm not sure. I also picked up The Love and Daylights by Lindsay Sands. And I thought this was gonna be like paranormal, but it's not. It's actually just romantic suspense. So I didn't know Lindsay Sands wrote anything besides paranormal romance. So that's kind of fascinating. It involves this uh, shy, geeky woman, Jane, who invents gadgets for spies to use. And then um, she's kind of like very much an introvert and she doesn't really want to be around people. She likes her gadgets. And then her neighbor gets kidnapped. And so one of like the spies from the place she works for has to help her find the neighbor and then peril. And then they're probably going to do it a lot. And I'm into it. <laughs> I kind of really like nerdy women and like dashing James Bond types. I don't know why. It's a silly trope, but like it, it gets me. Like I kind of... I see that even though I know it's silly, like, I still want to see it, you know? Like, I don't know. Let me know in a comment down below, what's that trope like for you? Like, what's the, what's your trope that you're like, oh gosh, that again? But I want to read it. <laughs> Let me know. I also picked up Never Judge a Lady by Her Cover by Sarah McLean, and I was very fascinated by this because she's wearing pants on the cover of a historical. Yes, thank you. I want that. Also, there's going to be a smutty tab. Let's look at the smutty tab. Ooh, that's smutty. Oh, I love a good smutty tab. That one's like sufficiently smutty, so I'm happy with it. But um, this one's kind of really interesting in particular. It's about Georgina, and she is like the younger sister of a duke who was ruined before she ever like had her debut. So she's been living her life, doing whatever. And part of that is masquerading around as a man who is it like one of the owners of a gaming club. So she is like living her best life. I'm way into her. Then comes along Duncan West, who's got to fuck with her shit. <laughs> like, he's just like, oh, I'm intrigued by you. You're intriguing. I'm going to find out all your secrets. And she's like, bitch, stop digging in my secrets. And then he's going to keep digging in her secrets. And then they're going to fall in love with each other, even though he's a nosy bastard. But whatever. Pants. I got this because of pants, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> I also picked up 10 Things I Love About You by Julia Quinn, and I grabbed this mainly because it was 10 cents. For 10 cents, I am going, willing to be a big spender, but I'm always nervous about Julia Quinn. Like, I know her Bridgerton series is supposed to be on Netflix soon enough, but like, I find her writing to be too sugar sweet. But like, she is so well beloved that I do want to try more of her stuff. So like, maybe I've just read the books that like I didn't like, but maybe there's some really good ones. So I picked this one up 
Mainly just because in my heart of hearts, 10 Things I Hate About You is one of my all-time favorite movies. I don't care, it's garbage. I like it. <laughs> so the title reminded me of it and I was like, okay, let's see where this goes. So it's about Sebastian and Annabelle and Annabelle is kind of a misfit woman and Sebastian is kind of like a rake with a heart of gold, I'm hoping. And um, their odd romance with this other guy in the way of it, it's kind of an odd love triangle, but not really because this Lord Newberry's trying to marry Annabelle, but she's like, bro, you dated my grandma. Like, no. <laughs> so it's just gonna be weird, but I don't know. I'm worried, I'm worried because the blurb on the back seems so sugary that I'm like, oh, no one's gonna fuck at all in this, are they? Like, I wanna see the bodices rip. I'm not reading this just to like, watch you have polite conversation. Am I right? Like, no one wants to have a polite conversation whilst fucking. So, like, let's just get over that. So, I don't know. I'm excited, sort of. I'm worried, too. I actually got this for free, and that is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. And this one is, like, a much-loved older story. It's very popular, and I wanted to read it because, like, I feel like a lot of people have read this, and I think they tried to make a movie out of it that was so unfilmable that they never released it. So I'm like, I'm wondering what the book is like, frankly. There's this town where everyone can hear each other's thoughts. And so no privacy whatsoever. And then they have this kid named Todd who finds his area of silence. And through finding this like pocket of silence where he can't hear thoughts, he starts to realize there is something rotten in the state of Denmark here. So bad things come to head, come, come to light, and then he has to run for his life. I don't know, I don't know. I think this might be one of those older YA books where maybe people didn't know any better yet. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's an older one that I'm worried about because sometimes I read those older YA stories of like, oh, this is problematic. But like, I don't know. I got it for free, so it's not like I invested a lot of money here, but I'm excited. Oh my goodness, I got this one for free too. I'm so excited about it. And that was The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. And I had seen this around, and this is actually the arc of it. I had saw it around a lot. I was like, oh, that looks cool. So I was so excited when I found it for free. <laughs> I was so excited. It's kind of dealing with curses and witches. And there's this girl, Noor, who's just like, listen, I am glad my witch powers are very unremarkable. Like, I don't want to be part of this save the world bullshit. I'm very happy just being normal. La 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 la. And of course that's not gonna stay the case, you know, forever here because it's a book. And she's like, oh shit, I've gotta save the day. <laughs> and I'm just so interested in it. It's got a great cover, it's got a great title. It seems snarky and interesting and fun and there's like curses in it and witches, so I was so into it. I was so happy I got this for free. I can't wait to read it. Like, this is like an Amanda book. I'm really hoping I like it, because if I don't, I'm gonna be devastated. Oh, trees, sorry. I got excited by art. I'm so, oh gosh, <laughs> I've had a lot of wine today. <laughs> Another arc I picked up was Given to the Earth by Mindy McGinnis. I gotta say, I really grabbed this just because I saw Mindy McGinnis had written it, and I love Mindy McGinnis. Like, she writes, really dark twisted books and they're always kind of feminist and I really like her writing style. From the blurb on here it's kind of hard to figure out what this is actually about but it's definitely fantasy and it seems to be about this girl who her destiny was to save the world by sacrificing herself to the sea but she finds a loophole and she's like marries the king so she's like oh I'm the queen now no one can make me sacrifice myself to the sea and I feel like that loophole has caused ripples of bad things to happen that maybe would not have happened otherwise so it's kind of a ripple effect story where now like there's been massacres and stuff and because she didn't sacrifice herself and then there's like twisted love triangles i don't know it's mindy mcginnis that's really all i saw and all i thought like oh i need this <laughs> and this is the arc of it. it came out in 2018 i am so fascinated by it i haven't seen mindy mcginnis write fantasy yet i've only seen her write you know regular real world story so i'm very interested to see how she would handle a fantasy world so I'll, yeah this one i saw i saw it mini mcginnis and i grabbed it need it love it i got the arc i'm happy 
I also picked up The Authentics by Abdi Nazemian, and I love Abdi. Like, he is so funny in person, and I gotta meet him, so this is signed. And I just grabbed it because I wanna try out some of his writing. And honestly, I, I did get this for free, and then I met him and got him to sign it, so I'm not losing any money here. But I am excited about it because it's kind of an interesting idea. It's about this girl who is very much um, Iranian-American, and she loves her heritage and everything about it until she's doing the school project, like a genealogy project, and realizes she's not actually Iranian. So it's kind of like an identity crisis, and it's definitely YA, and I'm excited because it's own voices, and I wanna see how this goes, and I've heard good things about it, and I'm hoping it's like kind of snarky and funny because Abdi is so snarky and funny as a person, so I'm excited. I got it for free, but I'm still like super excited about it. This is another book I ended up picking up for free, and that is An Anatomy of Beasts by Olivia A. Cole. This is book two of a series. This is the sequel to um, A Conspiracy of Stars, which I really wanted to read, but I haven't read yet, but I ended up getting book two for free, so I wasn't like gonna turn it down. And also, I mean, have you seen this cover? It's gorgeous. <laughs> I needed a gist for the cover. That This is like hardcore cover porn by, like I love it. It's intensely awesome. And it's very much um, like space sci-fi uh, future world story. I believe, since I haven't read book one, there, there's this world that people have uh, like uh, migrated to. So there is a colony of people living on this planet. However, uh, there are indigenous people on this planet and I don't think they get along all that well. And we're following this girl named Olivia and she's probably doing stuff to uh, make that so it's not true. So people like get along with each other and save the world, la 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 la. But um, I mean, cover. Damn, that is a good cover. So I had to have it, <laughs> it's cover by. I also finally picked up You by Carolyn Kepneys. I got this for free, find and a half. So excited about it. And I've been wanting to read this. I know there is a Netflix show that's very good and everyone liked it but I'm stuck at watching things, but I'm very good at reading things. So I got the book and I kind of know what this is about. It's about this guy named Joe who works at a bookstore and he is a crazy person and he's a stalker and a murderer. And then he finds this girl back who he's now is his latest obsession and he worms his way into her life to try to be everything in her life because he quote loves her. And then it's like a creepy, creepy story and I'm very fascinated by it. Oh, I think it's going to be very good. <laughs> I, I want to read it so much. Surprisingly, I will tell you the story about how I got this. There is a festival in the Los Angeles area called Pasadena Loves YA. At the end of the festival, every day, they have something called the Book Blitz. Essentially, they have a bunch of tables and they're covered in books. And basically, you get in a line and you can just go up to the table and take whatever book you want for free. So this was one of the books on the table. This should not be at a YA books festival. I don't know why I was there, but I saw it and I was like, I'm helping the children by taking this book for free. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> so I got this for free at a YA book festival, which is like a very odd place to get it at, but mm, I just want to read it so much. I'm so excited. So this one, again, total cover buy, but it seems really cool. This is The Death and Life of Zebulon Finch. And this is volume one, At the Edge of Empire by Daniel Cross. And I mean, look at that. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna read you this little blurb on the back because it's, well, it's not little, it's huge. It says, let us begin with this. I am 17 years old. And also this, I have been 17 years old for over a century. Ooh, I am fascinating. What are you about? I'm just gonna read this to you. It's kind of short, but it seems really fascinating and I'm so intrigued right now. So May 7th, 1896, dusk, a swaggering 17 year old gangster named Zebulon Finch is gunned down by the shores of Lake Michigan. But after mere minutes in the void, he is mysteriously resurrected. His second life will be nothing like his first. Zebulon's new existence begins as a sideshow attraction in a traveling medicine show. From there, he will be poked and prodded by a scientist obsessed with mastering the secrets of death. He will fight in the trenches of World War I. He will run from his nightmares and from poverty in Depression-era New York City. And he will become the companion of the most beautiful woman in Hollywood. Love, hate, hope, and horror. Zebulon finds them all. But will he ever find redemption? Ooh, it looks so good. And I got it for free. I got this for free, guys. This was like a fine and a half. It's a cover by. It looks gorgeous. But like Zebulon Finch. That sounds so cool. 
Oh man, I'm so intrigued by this. It's real thick though, but I'm intrigued. Let me know in a comment down below because I had actually never heard of this book before. I saw it at a book festival and grabbed it for free. So let me know in a comment down below. Have you read this? Is it good? Let me know. I just realized right now that I got almost all of the books in this book haul for free because <laughs> I'm like a hustler apparently. So I might call this just my like my free book haul. I think overall this whole book haul cost me under a dollar because I'm a champion and a lot of them are ARCs and you can't sell ARCs. So I got them for free. I got books for free at a festival. Like I am, I'm killing it here. So basically these were like free books. Let me know in a comment down below. Um, have you read any of these books? If so, favorites, least favorites, you know the drill. And all the other questions I asked through the course of this video, let me know in comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you wanna see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.